This is your car, why are you asking me? <laughs> Whoa. Dude, that's pretty sick too. <laughs> Alright, so we're wrapping up the crusty ground ledge spot here back behind the store and we're gonna go hit up the planter ledge spot just right up the road Underway continuing our fun times street skating Difficult times street skating. You know, there's a reason why professional skateboarders get so much credibility for skating in the streets rather than skating in parks and that is because it's a lot more difficult. The ground is not very suitable for riding a skateboard. The ledges don't grind and slide as easily. And you have to spend a little bit more time trying to figure out what it is you're trying, what it is you want to do, and how to achieve it. But it adds another level of satisfaction to the sport, to the skateboarding. And I wouldn't change it for anything. It's just two different worlds. You know, I really enjoy skating skate parks, but I also really enjoy skating street spots. And sometimes you just need to switch it up a little bit and do a little bit of both just to sort of refresh, reinvigorate your mind, your enthusiasm for this uh, kind of interesting pastime that we partake in. on my board too. Street skating. I will say skating these street spots today and just in general makes you really appreciate professional skateboarders and even just amateur skateboarders and what they can accomplish in the streets with their skateboarding. Uh, you know, if you have some really good skaters and skate videos that skate spots nearby you and then you go to those spots, you realize like, wow, I can't believe they did this trick at this spot because trying to imagine doing that yourself, uh, you know, it, well, you could probably make it happen if you practiced and practice and put in the work, but um, there's a newfound appreciation for the level of skill that these people have to be able to do these kinds of tricks in this kind of terrain and just the disparity of the world because we're all in turmoil and anguish and, um, you know, it's probably going to be unhappy.
So there it is, a little bit of street skating today. I did a video about this spot not that long ago, and I'll put a link up to it up here or here, depending on uh, whatever orientation it is, I can't remember, and um, in the description as well. We hit up a few spots, you know, did a little bit of street skating, as much street skating as you can do in this part of Central Florida. Not many great skate spots out here by me, um, at least not in this area. There are a decent few that are better in like downtown Orlando area, but I didn't really feel like going out down there too far today. So nice fun time street skating. I feel like you don't end up doing anything that's as technically strong as a skate park. It's still, you know, just as fun. The, the fun factor is just like a slightly different variable. It's the reason why you have fun is not because you're doing very complex or you know, difficult or tricks that you're proud of. It's because you're trying to figure it out and you're skating harsh terrain and you're making stuff work. And that's where the fun comes in for me. It's just like looking at a spot and it's got crusted edges and it's really rough ground and figure out what works. And you have to think a little bit outside of the box, which is something I love doing, especially with my skateboarding, especially lately, you know, I just want to be able to have fun with it and do some unique interesting tricks and stuff and uh, just have a blast you know throw it on the board and just have a good time and not really worry too much about stressing about getting clips about going viral about being an insane honey on the superstar internets because it's all about just having fun it's all about just skating the spots you know and exploring a little bit i think well part of that aspect of the street skating that i love so much as well is just finding out seeing places that you never really thought you'd see before and then when you find a spot that you can skate there it's a little bit like a treasure hunt a little bit like a gold mine and it's a lot of fun but for right now we're pretty tired we're gonna go home and um we're gonna go get some food we're gonna have a quick bite to eat and we're gonna enjoy ourselves some more in another fashion in a different way on another day